These videos are going to go over the basic setup and calibration of a Prusa 3D printer. This printer is a little different than a standard printer that you'll be receiving. Um, namely, I have the multi-material upgrade that allows us to select, select multiple filaments, and I have a Raspberry Pi set up for filming and remote control. Um, this will not cover any of those features, and I'll point out any differences when it comes to um, menus and configuration, but generally the rules apply. This first video, I'm going to cover some finer points of the names of different parts of the printer and let you be aware of um, things to be aware of when you're setting it up. So when you get your printer, this front display will be in the front of your printer. It doesn't really matter if it's on or off the edge. It can stick off the edge. Just make sure you don't hit it when things are happening. When you set your printer up, you want to make sure you have a clear area. This is not a good ex uh, example because I'm kind of a pack rat, but I know that I am clear. When you're actually setting your printer up, you want to make sure that you have full clearance on the Y axis. In fact, I'm going to move this filament spool back farther away. Your filament spools will be above the printer, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. But you want to move the bed carefully, slowly back and forth to make sure there's nothing in the way, especially this back cable. You also want to make sure the X axis is fully unobstructed. And the Z-axis, there's nothing underneath these two rails that will hang up the printer. Again, I know that I'm clear because I've been printing with my printer, but when you're setting up, a big clear area would be helpful. This main head is called the extruder. It has a, it might have a hamster on the front to show you if it's spinning or not. If not, you can also inspect by looking at the gear on the side and seeing if that's moving. There is a front blower fan and a side fan. These will turn on and off as you print, depends on what's happening. Then we have our heated bed. The bed has a removable, is a removable plate. If you notice the thumb print, the easiest way to take the print bed off is to push down on the thumb and lift with your finger, and the whole bed comes off. When removing prints, you can flex this. It's spring steel, you're not gonna fold it. And it goes and lines up using these two screw heads. The power for the printer is located on the back right here, this big switch. When you turn it on, there'll be a short initialization period. And you wanna wait till the printer gets to the um, main home screen before you do anything else. So it'll say pre things. It'll say sorting files. That's gonna be reading the files on the card. You'll see a progress bar. You will not hear the noises from the uh, multimeter upgrade when you turn your printers on. Your printer will be much quieter, but um, once you're at this main screen, yours will not show an F because that's for my multi-material upgrade, but all the rest of the display should show. Temperatures might be slightly different based on how warm or cold your room is.